Now, we want to go ahead and take a look at a method for determining how to break down a particular abelian group. This is not only going to give us what it's isomorphic to, but it's actually going to tell us exactly what the internal direct product is. So we start out, we compute the orders for all the elements of the group G. And I'm going to be honest, this can be tedious. But once we have those orders, we just go ahead, we start by picking an element of the maximum order, and then start with a cyclic subgroup generated by that element. Instead of going through the rest of this, let's go ahead and start an example and see how it works, because it's hard to see unless you're actually in the middle of working something out. So let's take the group, which consists of the elements 1, 7, 17, 23, 49, 55, 65, and 71, where our group operation is multiplication mod 96. Now, I'm not going to waste our time going through and computing every single one of these things, what their order is, but it's obvious that the order of 1 is 1. And let's go through 7. So 7 squared is 49. 7 cubed, we'd have 49 times 7, which when we take it, mod 96 ends up being 55. And when we take 7 to the 4th, now, one of the things we can do is rather than trying to figure out 7 to the 4th and then taking the mod, we can take the previous ones. We can take 55 times 7, and when we take that mod 96, we end up with 1. So, that means that 7 has order 4. Like I said, I'm not going to compute all of these things, but... 17 has order 2, 23 has order 4, 49 has order 2, and we kind of computed that over here, 55 has order 4, 65 has order 2, and 71 has order 4. Now, honestly, just looking at this, I know what this group is isomorphic to. Because, based on what we did before, there's only three possibilities for what it's isomorphic to. It can be isomorphic to Z8. It could be isomorphic to Z4 direct Z2. And it can be isomorphic to Z2 direct Z2 direct Z2. But, because of this list of orders, I know it has to be this. There's no element of order 8, so it can't be that. It does have elements of order 4, whereas everything in here is order 2. So, Z4, direct product Z2, it has to be isomorphic to that. But we want to do more than that. We want to know more than what the external direct product is it's isomorphic to is, we want to actually figure it out explicitly as an internal direct product. So what we can do is take any one of these elements of order 4. Because we went through and showed what all the powers of 7 was, I'm going to take that. So I'm going to define g1 is equal to the cyclic subgroup generated by 7, which would be 1, 7, 49, and 55. Now, that's not the entire group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that i is equal to 1 at this point. This is not the entire group. So 
I'm going to replace i by i plus 1, so i is now equal to 2. And now, this is probably the most confusing part. I select an element ai of maximum order such that p to the k divide uh, is less than or equal to the order of g order over the order of g minus 1. So the order of g was 8, the order of g1 is 4, so I need to find an element of order 2, of order 8 divided by 4, an element of order 2. But more than that, it needs to be that no power of that is in my previous group that I've constructed. Well, in this case, since it's order 2, it actually can't be because as long as I don't pick one of the numbers that's already in there, it can't be because when I take the... Well, basically because I'm only taking it to the first power. I only go up to the power of p to the k minus 1. Since I'm taking something of order 2, I'm going 2 minus 1, 2 to the first minus 1. And so I'm only taking things to the first power in this case. So, going back to my list, 1's out, it's not the right order. 7 and 49 and 55 are all out because those were all in my G1. I want something of order 2, so let's just take 17. So the next step is that G2 sort of my next iteration of this process is that g2 is equal to what I had before, the cyclic subgroup generated by 7, inner direct product with cyclic subgroup generated by 17. Or in other words, what I've got is 1, 7, 49, 55, inner direct product with 1, 17, and that should give me my entire group. There's eight elements in this, so that has to be my entire eight element group. Now it would be worth stopping by and actually going through and computing what are all the things we get. Make sure that when I do 7 times 17, I'm getting something that's not in one of these two groups. But if you check it, it will work out.